Lexi too, Ronnie. You might want to come over here. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. I, I don't go that way. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to touch her vagina. Yeah, right. What's wrong with y'all? I'm talking about this one. She brought this with her. They thought it's a vulva. It's a vulva. See, that's why you're here to teach us about the vulva. You mind if I touch your vulva? You could touch this one. This, <laughs> this okay. All right. So, uh, Brittany, tell the people who you are and what you do and all of that good stuff. Hello everyone, my name is Brittany Mitchell and I am the founder and lead educator of The Intimacy Firm. So what do you do at The Intimacy Firm? You want to hold the role? I would love to. Touch the role. Sorry. What, does, so, what do you do there? At The Intimacy Firm, our mission is to empower individuals to navigate the world of sex and sexuality mm -hmm. in a way that doesn't compromise their values. And we do that through sex education, counseling, consulting with different uh, corporations to make sure that they're um, guidelines and policies align with the law, making sure we partner with churches, making sure with youth groups, helping them develop healthy sexual uh, confidences and things of that nature. That's, that's deep. That is, I yeah. On the surface, when we see what the topic was, <laughs> right. but she getting busy. Yes. And, and busy. And, and, yeah, both. <laughs> <laughs> she, get, she helping out the kids and the adults. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> so, Brittany, uh, on the topic of getting busy, mm -hmm. you were here to explain to us, they had their little panel just now, mm -hmm. the girls. Talking about they was pleased and Women. all that. Um, shout out to Ronnie, though. I liked her comment a lot. Um, but better sex. Everybody's in, in search of better sex. Can you help us? you have some tips? So, first thing I want to say is, just like, and this may fit more to the women than the men, but you ever go into the store and they have a, a dress or something that says one size fits all, yes. and then you get home and, and realize that fit. they didn't have you in mind when they mm -hmm. sized that That's thing out, and, and if you had a, a little bit more mm -hmm. to love, yeah. that is one size yes. fits a, fi a few cute. people. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right. Well, <laughs> with, with regards to sex, it's kind of the same. There's no such thing as a universally good lover. Mm -hmm. So I can, there's some things that I can teach you as far as activity and behavior that may only work for certain individuals. Okay. However, there are some things that are just across the board, something that you need to develop to be able to make you okay. well, I'll tell then you go what, down the path of... Here, right here on camera, mm -hmm. you know, tell us the, the everybody stuff, but then after the show, just me and you, we'll talk about the... I beat you to the punch, we already had that. <laughs> you already? Already. Damn, already. you already. So, oh, hey, like, she the co-host. I'm the host host. <laughs> I'm a Napolox. Is that the right anyway, word? Anyway, what, what, what to do? What to do? What so, everybody do? first thing, you need to know you. Okay. You need to know your likes, your dislikes, mm. your hard lines, your hard boundaries, and your absolutes. Okay. Your requirements. Mm. You need to be able to understand that. That means exploring your body and recognizing, okay, I like this. Okay, I don't like this. Mm -mm, pineapples, I don't want that. Don't even, <laughs> don't bring that. Safe words. Ask, Safe don't words. bring that over here. You need to know that. That's number one. And number two, you need to be able to convey that to a partner. Mm -hmm. If you're in... Okay. A, if you're in a relationship, a situationship, a I just met you ship, and you're not <laughs> comfortable, and, and you don't feel comfortable <laughs> explaining to that individual what your likes, dislikes, and hard passes are, then maybe you shouldn't be in that type of situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody Gotta should. Talk. Gotta tell it. Communicate. Everybody should feel comfortable to um, speaking about their ones. Number three, porn should not be goals. Yeah. The re the reality of it is, mainstream porn does not represent. The, uh, the us as a people in the whole is not very inclusive. It doesn't show sex in its reality. It doesn't show when you fall off the bed. Right. It doesn't show uh, sh oh. shared pleasure in foreplay. There is some foreplay in porn, but it doesn't. Pleasure is not prioritized do, among the both. stuff that they doing on porn. Porn but should like, not be goals. It should be goals. Porn should not Listen. be goals. But who we and talking you, about? And porn should not be the Listen. the metrics for how you measure success in your sexual relationship. Yeah, so Listen. It's a ball, but not an ear. All right, she wanted in the ear. You heard me. Porn should not be goals. Not be goals. I, I We're good. Listen to We're her. Good. Good. But I'm. I'm not going to give you a hard no or a hard yes oh, on that one okay. just yet. I'm number right. number no. four, and I want you to turn my mic up so you can hear me real good. Oh, okay. Never fake it. Don't fake Don't it. Don't fake the orgasm. Never. Oh, I can give you some on that. No. Here we go. Never. Y'all always fake it. I don't know about all of that. Y'all be fake it. I don't know about all of that. Never fake it, never lie, don't moan if you don't feel it, right. because it sets everybody up for failure. Your partner is thinking yes. they're doing something and they're not, you're and right. then they're going to come back into the next situation and do it again, do it again. and, and you're going to be upset. It's it's you're being counterproductive. Right. You think you're sparing their feelings, and you're right. absolutely right. Let me tell you, because I like that you said that, because me, 
I'm really like a true communicator. Okay. Like I want to know, no, like did, was that real? Did you really? Cause don't fake it for me. Was that the real? Okay, that was the real. Okay, cool. Okay. And I, I want to talk. I want to have a conversation. And a lot of times we run into issues like that because of the pleasure gap. And with men, more likely, more than likely, are going to uh, mm-hmm. achieve an orgasm. Yeah. Women, not so much. Seventy percent of women do not achieve orgasm from mm. penetration alone. That's a lot. You yeah. need seventy clitoral- percent of my women do though. Oh. <laughs> Alternative I, I, facts. I, 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 <laughs> Uh, you would know, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Clitoral stimulation is almost necessary um, to achieve an orgasm for women, but a lot of times well, that's... Show them what to do. Yeah. This, you ain't bring okay, Veronica, but not nah, this is Veronica the vulva. Veronica. What you want to do to her? So what you need, if your partner has a vulva, you must become <laughs> clitoris. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Should normal partners have a vulva? Are, are my only talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry. Am I only talking but to you? But you got a you got a vulva in your hand. I'm just, that was confusing. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was confusing. I'm the only one. If okay. your partner has a vulva, you must become clitoris. If you own a vulva, clitoris. you must okay. become clitoris. Yes. And that means knowledge of the clitoris, which is behind this clitoral hood. There's a lot of euphemisms for the clitoris, the man in the boat, the little flower, all of those things, but it is an organ whose sole purpose is pleasure. I so wait a minute, wait a minute, because you fly with the word. Now, so that means women got to become dickery. No. 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 <laughs> <laughs> bum, 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 bum. The clitoris is more than just this piece right here. There's over 8,000 nerve endings that serve no other purpose but pleasure. And there are bulb-like roots that come down the sides of the labia. And then there are straight roots. Similar to that of a wishbone. And sometimes it's... wishbones? I'm sorry. It's <laughs> shaped like a wishbone. Oh, okay. Where the wishbone at? Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's, it's internal. It's, it's in. that oh, part it's of the vulva. Okay. Okay. It's, 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 it's internal. In. So, Down so these, are the, these are the, the lips? These are the uh, labia majora. No, no, okay. Labia minora. Okay. Okay. No, okay. And yeah. only this part is the vagina. Most people call this whole thing the vagina. Uh-huh. But the only part that is the vagina is the part where it's penetrated. Oh, okay. okay. And then, of course, you we have your G spot, your urethra. Where's G spot? The G spot is this ridged <laughs> area right in here. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. Shit. That's the G spot. You, you know where it's at. I, I, I didn't know what it's called. I didn't, I didn't know the technical name okay. of it. Okay, I'm sorry. Go so, ahead. It is, it is important to close the pleasure gap. We all must become acquainted with this little guy here, the clitoris. Okay, ladies, go so get your mirrors. And you have one show. more, right? Yes. Should, and last but not I least, and probably the most important of them all, is that sex should be pleasure center and not goal oriented. When if orgasm is your only focus, if you look at sex as a race with the finish line, then you're missing the journey and only by only focusing on the destination. That means there's pressure. There means there's a winner and a loser. That means there's a finish line that you may or may not cross. But just like we know when we have a bomb cheesesteak, if we get all the way down to the last bite and accidentally drop it, oh. does, does that oh. upset nonetheless. I'm not I understand it. Yes. However, the cheesesteak was still delicious. Oh so be able enjoy the journey okay. mm-hmm. and don't and if the orgasm comes at the end that's amazing i'm not saying don't shoot for an orgasm if you have it that's awesome but enjoy the journey along the way enjoy the journey love her. love her love her that was amazing that was amazing